Good morning, guys. Day seven of my county's vacation. So, yeah, I'm just going down to this house that's made up to look like a wedding cake down in Kenny Bunkport. It's about a half hour drive down, and there's a pretty good beach slash nature preserve on the coast as well. So I'm going to go check that out, get something to eat, and then just head on to the airport around 3, 3.45, 4 o'clock because my flight leaves at 5.45. So, see you on the road. Hey guys. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm on uh, Route 1 and down into Kenny Bumport area to see the uh, wedding cake house. It's like another lovely day up here in Maine. Also looking for a uh, little cafe or diner to stop and get some food. If not, I'll probably just stop and get lobster roll <coughs> later on um, on my way back up to the airport. You can also probably eat at the airport, I guess. Or both. Yeah, I can do both. That'd be nice. Get some breakfast and then have a lobster roll at the airport. I'm sure they serve them. Is there any good? That's another question. Not sure what town this is. I guess this is Scarborough. Anyway, I'll see you guys at the cake house. But they all did go out on the days when the sun shone, usually wearing two sets of clothing and mittens on over their gloves. Getting out was almost a compulsive thing. The hotel was circled with the double track of Danny's flexible flyer. The permutations were nearly endless. Danny riding while his parents pulled. Daddy, riding and laughing while Wendy and Danny tried to pull. It was just possible for them to pull him on the icy crust, and flatly impossible when powder covered it. Danny and Mommy riding. Wendy riding by herself while her menfolk pulled and puffed white vapor like dray horses, pretending she was heavier than she was. They laughed a great deal on these sled excursions around the house, but the whooping and impersonal voice of the wind, so huge and hollowly sincere, made their laughter seem tinny and forced. They had seen caribou tracks in the snow, and once the caribou themselves, a group of five standing motionlessly below the security fence. They had all taken turns with Jack's Zeiss Icon binoculars to see them better, and looking at them had given Wendy a weird, unreal feeling. They were standing leg deep in the snow that covered the highway, and it came to her that between now and the spring thaw, the road belonged more to the caribou than it did to them. Now the things that men had made of here were neutralized. The caribou understood that, she believed. She had put the binoculars down and had said something about starting lunch, and in the kitchen she had cried a little, trying to rid herself of the awful, bent-up feeling that sometimes fell on her like a large, pressing hand over her heart. She thought of the caribou. Hey guys, um, coming up for the turn for the uh, cake house here in, uh, I guess this is considered Kenny Bunk, not Kenny Bunkport. I guess that's, that's farther down, yeah, that's farther down, right on the water, which I'm going to go to next after I check out this house. Yeah, 70 degrees out. Perfect day. I wonder if it's going to get any hotter. Wow, oh, it's been perfect weather this entire trip. Okay. side. <clears throat> I guess this is a private residence, so I don't know if there's going to be anywhere to park, get pictures. <coughs> Excuse me.
That's an interesting looking Jeep that just passed by. Or truck. <coughs> Road. I wonder if that takes me down to. Oh, that takes me down to some. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna go into Kenny Bungport. No, I'm not going to the Bushes' house. I have no desire to see that place. But I am hungry, so. Yeah, there's a sign that said beaches that way, so I'm going to just take this road all the way down to the, the water. And I'm sure there's some place to eat in Kenny, Bung, Kenny Bunkport. I wonder if the, the Bush Estate will someday be a, a um, museum. I feel like uh, Roosevelt's on Camp Bell Island. Kind of doubt it. Because, like, that family's still very active and there's a lot of descendants still alive. Okay, so where is this house? It should be coming up on the right hand side. I just am not sure if I have anywhere to park. Any side street near it? I do want to get a couple pictures of it. It should be here somewhere. That may have been a, a driveway for it. Yeah, I think this is a private residence. Yeah, okay. Well, that was a bust because I'm not I'm not walking up somebody's driveway to take pictures. Especially if they're home. Oh well. Better luck with some of our time. So I'll see you guys later on, probably when I'm at one of the beaches that I'm going to go, go check out. Hey guys, you know a little village called uh, Cape Corpus. Just, um, there's a chowder house that um, I might get food at. They, they're not open yet, but uh, they open like a half hour. So I'm just down here. Um... Okay, so where do you park? Hmm, not really anywhere to park down here. This is not great. There's nowhere to park. That's just great. I don't know what this guy's doing. I don't know if he's leaving or if he's just shooting the shit with this guy. Okay, I'm um, ready. Hey guys, I got the parking situation taken care of. Oh, cool. San Francisco, 3,177 miles away. <laughs> that they got signs for lobster rolls and fish and chips. <laughs> that's, that's clever. That's cool. Alright, let's walk on down to the uh, 
water while we're waiting for this place to open. Like I said before, this is why I love travel. This was not planned. Huh. Yeah, rock just sitting here. I think so. Time to get him in the Yeah, I guess we can like get out and they'll like make the things are making our way back. Does this thing actually move? It does. Not all the way. That's too bad. August 8th, 1782, a British ship of 18 guns attacked a small force of inhabitants gathered on Goat Island and was driven away by severe musket fire, losing 17 men. Lieutenant James Burnham of this town was killed. Daughters of the American Revolution, August 8th, 1921. Wow. Pretty nice view. Chata House. Oh, so there's two restaurants here. They have a menu. The islands of Cape Porpoise. Stage, little, little stage, Cape Island, Seven Bush Island, Milk Island. Goat Island, Folly Island, Bass Island, <laughs> President Bush. That's very funny. He gets an island named after him. You see Green Island. Okay, guys. I'll see you at one. Hey, guys. I uh, found a path that goes down to the water. Of course, I'm not in my work shoes, so gotta be careful. Perfect day today. Got that to forward to going home tonight. I think the rain will be when I saw the weather it's supposed to be done by then. Day. Nice breeze. Okay. Hey guys, I'm done with lunch. Really good uh, salmon tartare. Very interesting uh, flavor and egg, uh, egg yolk. It was almost like jelly. It was really interesting. And it was very salty, but not to the point of like disgusting salt. You know, the kind you get with gamers that take Overwatch far too seriously. <laughs> Sorry, inside joke. Anyway, um, I'm going down to uh, two points, actually. Marshall Point, and I think the other one was called... Shit, I can't remember it off the top of my head now. Well, there's there's Marshall Point, I know, which is the road I'm on right now. And then there's one other one. I'm sure I'll see a sign for it when I, I get down there. So... Yeah, just kind of exploring for the next couple hours and then heading over to the airport. Skipper Jones Point. Private lane, residence and guest Okay, well, I guess, we, I guess we will not be going to Skipper Joe's. 
but I am going to take a look up here, even though that just said it's a private road. I really don't care. I'm on vacation, and I've, I've seen maybe two cops the entire time I was up here. So, so hopefully I, I don't get uh, stuck up here. People are going to be like, why are you driving up here? You're from Florida. Hi. I guess that, yeah, that, that's definitely marshland right there. Um, no entry. Yeah, I think this... I think this is somebody's driveway that I'm going up into. <laughs> yeah. This is somebody's house. Okay then, I'm going to turn around and get down here before I get into trouble. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get to a beach of some sort. Hey guys, I'm just coming up to a road that basically goes right along the Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, I can see it through the trees. I guess tidal pond or something right here. Fortunes Rocks Road. This time, um, this actually goes to an actual park. There's your, um, your more traditional kind of beach speed table I just went over. <laughs> That's what they call them up here. Do you have to pay to park here? Because I don't have any cash on me. Um... Driving along here. Ah, it's permit parking only. Wow, that's that's very much the Atlantic right there. That's no inlet. That's that's the actual ocean. Inlet or cove or whatever. Mm, it's very quiet many people out. I think it'd be busier. It's, you know, Labor Day weekend. Still not sure if I'm working one day. Eh, whatever. I want to get back to work and uh, start saving for the Japan and Japan or Ireland trip, wherever we end up going next. Alright, I'll see you guys when I get up to this Wait. park. She had snatched Danny away. It rose up before him, and he suddenly wanted to wipe the anger that had been on it out with his fist. She had no goddamn right. Yes, maybe at first. He had been a lush. He had done terrible things. Breaking Danny's arm had been a terrible thing. But if a man reforms, doesn't he deserve to have his reformation credited sooner or later? And if he doesn't get it, doesn't he deserve the game to go with the name? If a father constantly accuses his virginal daughter of screwing every boy in junior high, must she not at last grow weary enough of it to earn her scoldings? And if a wife secretly and not so secretly continues to believe that her teetotaling husband is a drunk? He got up, walked slowly down to the first floor landing, and stood there for a moment. He took his handkerchief from his back pocket, wiped his lips with it, considered going down and pounding on the bedroom door, demanding to be let in so he could see his son. She had no right to be so goddamn high-handed. 
Well, sooner or later she'd have to come out, unless she planned a radical sort of diet for the two of them. A rather ugly grin touched his lips at the thought. Let her come to him. She would in time. He went downstairs to the ground floor, stood aimlessly by the lobby desk for a moment, and turned right. He went in Hey guys. Hopefully I can find somewhere to park up here, because I want to get pictures. Ocean Ave. Wow. That's a heck of a view. There's nowhere to park. Man, I want to get pictures of this, but there's nowhere to park, so... Where do you go? Like, or can you not go here because, um, this is just for residents only? No parking anywhere. Like, are you kidding me? Like, I understand. Like, this is probably just for residents only up this way. But the fact that you can't park on the street somewhere, that's really silly. Even furthermore, it's silly because it's very quiet up here. It's not summertime. There's not a million fucking people here trying to park. I'm just trying to take a couple pictures and then be on my merry way. But apparently I can't do that. Well, well, there's no rule about stopping and taking pictures and then staying in your car. Is there? I'm sorry, I'll I'll move. No, no, no. I thought you wanted to be in the picture, that's all. Sure. <laughs> sure, smile. <laughs> wow. That old man's timing was impeccable. That was amazing. Oh, you, you can actually get out this way. Hi lady, how you doing? Imagine living up this way. How much these houses go for? I'm. They gotta be in the close to a million. Like for this view. Good lord. Beautiful day. And like I said, it's not busy. It's when I like the beach the best. During the off season or during times when it's nice but there's no people. Wow, look at that place. Wow. Okay, well, I got what I wanted, so. Alright, I'll see you guys at the next one. Wherever that <clears throat> may be. Hey guys. <clears throat> Just coming through the little town of. I'm assuming it's pronounced Seiko. But it could be pronounced Sacco for all we know. 
But I'm going with Seiko. <coughs> Not Jose can Seiko. Yeah, just looks like your typical small town. That could be anywhere. Scarborough, Buxton, Camp Ellis. Camp Ellis. I wonder if that's in reference to Ellis Spear, Chamberlain's right hand man, or one of his captains, I think. Nope, I want to turn here, actually. Excuse me. There we go. Okay. Well, I'll see you guys when I get down to the water again. Oh. Oh. Fourteen more minutes before I get down there. Hey guys, great news. Um, this place that I'm coming, this beach I'm coming to, it has a boardwalk. So maybe that's in order if, uh, I can find a parking space. Yeah, they even have a roller coaster. So, let's take a look, see if uh, we can find a parking space. Might be a little tricky though, seeing how it's Labor Day weekend. <sighs> All day parking, that, that's a little tight. And also I don't have cash. There's that to consider. Man, I want to take a walk out on the boardwalk. Um, let me check over here. Oh, sorry. Ten dollars with restroom. Um. Excuse me! Do you take credit cards? Is there any credit card parking lots? Alright. You wouldn't have to be able to lend me $10, would you? Could you lend me $10? Alright, thank you. <laughs> That's obviously somebody who doesn't get the joke. not be possible. Steve's parking, five dollars. Fuck, I wish I had cash. Okay, guys, I'm gonna park here because this seems to be a five dollars. Yeah, okay, they take credit cards. All right, I'm gonna.
be back once again on the boardwalk, guys. Hey guys, welcome to Old Orchard Beach. Once again, this is not planned. It's what I love most about travel. I get to go on a roller coaster before I go back home to Pennsylvania. Wow, it's like seaside in, in Maine. Really cool. Only cost five dollars to park too. And I was able to pay with my card. Probably do need to find an ATM though. Wow, cool. Palace Playland. Mine. Mine. Wow, it's just like Seaside Heights. Amazing. Very cool. Let's take a look. Or let's check a look. Excuse me. Yeah, it, it's just like the arcade on Seaside Heights. All games of chance. Doesn't look like anything retro. I remember that game. Pinball machines. Yeah. It's like Seaside Heights. Alright, let's go see about this roller coaster. I'm assuming I probably gotta buy an ATM, so. Alright, I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, going on the roller coaster. It's like no way. Cost me 14 bucks for 10 tickets, but whatever, I'm on vacation, who cares. If I like it enough, I'll go on a second time. Hey there. Go on twice. Thank you. All right. You said to remove your hat, so I'm not taking any chances with this. it and probably lose it and then that'll be the end of my queue. Thank you. So I'm just going on this twice and then that'll be that because there's no one rides here that I'm interested in. I no idea I'd be going on a roller coaster today. Let's see if it's any good. Looks pretty decent. Five dollars for this. Fourteen fifty for the ten tickets. Two rides, twenty bucks. That's not too bad. Yeah, obviously it's your course, but that's what I'm doing. I'm a tourist. Here we go. Maybe I can get up in the front. No, no, let's take it off. Oh boy! 
boy, here we go. I mean, it's out. It's kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but people might be vacationing, so who knows? Yeah, it's called Bailey's Lobster Pound. I'm assuming it's tied in with this place. Fresh crab meat rolls. They do a combo. I'm gonna get a lobster and a and a crab. Get good end to my vacation. There is a Tony Luke's down in uh, the Philadelphia airport that I saw on fr last Friday when I was there. I was thinking about trying it finally, cause, but um, I don't know. Let's see how I feel when I land in Philly. Maybe I'll, if they have a small, I'll just get a small one just to try it. But I definitely want to <clears throat> get one more lobster roll. I'm just killing time right now. Don't have to be to the airport probably for another hour and 20 minutes. And it's only yeah, like 34 minutes away. town. Hmm. Hopefully the weight isn't too bad. Like I said, it's on the beach, but it's kind of, you know, it seems like a little, little town type of deal. But then again, who knows? Oh, that's another nice main view. Ah, sure, I'm gonna miss that as my scenery. Get back to doing deliveries and get all rural farmland Pennsylvania. Clam bake seafood restaurant. Well, I'd go in there, but. Got to make this quick, because I do have to get over to the airport. I want to get through security. No trouble or no wait. And I'm not sure if it's busy this time of day. Okay, so it should be coming up here on the right-hand side, or right or left-hand side. Parking won't be that hard to find. Please don't be super busy. <coughs> All I want is one more lobster and possibly one more crab roll. not a lot of cars going to it, so. Bailey's. 
Okay, well, it does look a little busy, so... Alright, I just gotta find some parking. Alright. I got lucky, guys. Some people left. Right as I was about to go somewhere else for parking. Hopefully it's not too long of a wait for just the lobster roll. Cool. That guy's either passed down or dead. Good, how are you? I get a uh, box lobster roll. Toasted. Justin. How long? Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Do you just have like a cup of water I could get? Thank you. Thanks very much. So yeah, they do one of these for 20 bucks. It's a lobster roll, chips, and uh, coleslaw. Ooh, and a nice pickle too. Sweet. All right, so let me eat this. Let me take a bite of this before the cube dies. Ho ho ho. That's a good looking lobster roll. This might be Young's, which is the best one I had up here so far. Here we go. This is good. Young's is better for one simple fact. Young's, they buttered the, uh, the roll. This, I'm pretty certain, is not buttered. But it's good, you know, for 20 bucks. It's definitely good. It's definitely bigger than, than Young's. They got, I think they have them beat in that regard. So anyway, guys, um, I'll see you guys at the airport. I'm going to finish this. Take care.
Hey guys, I'm back where I started at the Portland airport a week later. Ah, it's been a good vacation. Still got two more days off to just relax and recuperate. And then maybe or maybe not, we're working on Monday. Remains to be seen. So now I got like two hours to kill here at the airport, but I don't care. It's no big deal. I got nothing left, nothing else to do. So just get get the car dropped off and uh, get through security. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm uh, at the inside the airport at my terminal. We're walking too. Okay guys, made it through security. A little bit busier than uh, when I left on Friday, but not too bad. Going to gate nine. Hopefully there won't be any trouble getting back home. It's a little bit of a storm throwing down in Pennsylvania, so... Well, we're still in time, so... This way. Alright guys, see you in Philly because I don't have a window seat so I'm not going to bother filming. Thanks again. Okay. Yeah, our flight got bumped up guys. So. <laughs> Thank you. Glad I didn't have a valet bag. Back in Philly. Back to the rain. Three hour wait till the next flight unless it gets bumped up. Okay, gotta figure out where I'm going to. I'm all set. Thank you. Downtown. On time, F-17. Okay, a whole long wait. 
I'm going to come back. Hey guys, I'm just waiting for my last flight back to downtown and finally going to try something from Tony Luke's. Oh man, look at this. It's a broccoli. It's a broccoli and raw pork right there. And I had it in my office. Oh man, that's so good. That beats Primo's broccoli and rum. Puts it to shame, guys. That's the best broccoli and rum I've had thus far. Thanks. Yeah, lovely. Back to the land of the rain. A little salt week without any rain up in Maine and come home to this shit. Thank you. Good night.
actually close up at night. Interesting. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> 